joy, prosperity, all that good stuff, and infinite abundance. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up to all my tequila loves? And you know who you are. Those are the beautiful souls who come. They sit and listen to what I have to say. They leave comments, thumbs up, subscribe. They even share on social media. You know, I know you guys got an IG, a Facebook, a Snapchat, or whatever app you're on. If you like something, why not share it with other people, right? So, guys, right now, we are steadily building our energy towards self-development, right? And that's on a mental level, an emotional level, spiritual, physical, financially, in all different aspects, right? So, one thing you have to really do when you're growing is to grow into you. You know what I'm saying? You have to um, let a certain part of you die. The old you has to die so the new you can live and be transformed. Like, I just saw a, a beautiful photo the other day, and it was like a skull painted with these um, orange butterflies around it. The butterflies symbolized transforming, and the skull was about death. So basically, in order for you to transform and to fly and be free like that beautiful butterfly, you have to let certain parts of yourself die. What are these parts of self that need to die so you can get into the next level of ascension? These are questions that a lot of chosen and conscious people on the planet are asking right now. Especially with this huge planetary alignment going on, you know, December 21st. What's December 21st? Well, if you've been vibrating in love versus fear, if you've been vibrating in fear versus love, right now is a time like never before to choose a side. And you gotta pick a side and stay there. Yo, peace, love, joy, prosperity, all that good stuff in infinite abundance. Mm -hmm. My name is Takia, and thank you to all my newcomers, and of course, all my Takia loves who always come by to send me some love, if it's a thumbs up, a comment, even sharing my content, and of course, suggesting new topics. So guys, lately we have been talking about what it means to be uh, fearless, what it means to be yourself. And the more we talk about it, is the more we can realize that, hey, maybe I haven't been myself because I was too busy being something that I was not, right? And when do you have these type of epiphanies? How long does it take before you know, before you realize that there is a dark night riding your soul, right? And I've spoken about the dark night before. And so have so many other great and chosen conscious like-minded people. This dark night, it's this energy that is living deep inside of you, inside of me. And it wants to live, it wants to come out. But what we do, instead of letting the dark night ride, we run to the castle for shelter. Instead of actually hopping on that horse's back and riding like a real warrior, we run to the castle for shelter. Now there is nothing wrong with a little bit of, you know, shelter, a little bit of protection for yourself here and there. But when you get so comfortable in protecting yourself from just the unknown or the newness of something, you actually, you actually deny yourself to be yourself. Because you're so caught up in fear. And when you are, you know, in fear and you're not, you know, open, how could you ever really truly know yourself, right? It's like me when I went, I went golfing before. Like, have you ever done something? And it's like, 
oh, I didn't even know I was that good at this thing, but the fact that I went and did it, I was better than all my peers. I was better than everybody else. And you'll start to see that over time again and again, the more you are willing to participate in a variety of activities in the strangeness of life <laughs> and, you know, answering self when it gives you ideas and certain, certain urges. Of course, we want those urges to not be so much on the tempting side, but more so on the delivering blessings and goodness. But guys, I don't want to ramble off too much. Yes, I do. I'm lying. <laughs> but um, honestly, guys, I just wanted you guys to understand real quick that being yourself is really the best way you can be. And you really won't understand what that means until you start to know thyself fully. You have to actually study yourself. And the way to do that is to place yourself in different situations. And a lot of the times, you grow better when you are out of your comfort zone. So, if you really want to be yourself, guys, all you got to do is think of something that you would like to create or experience. And don't worry about the feeling. You may feel anxiety because you're excited and you want to see this manifested. You are in the future instead of the now. It's okay to go into the future, but with anxiety, it's like you're so far ahead, you know, ahead of ahead, that you can't enjoy anything. But guys, you have to like realize that um, a lot of the emotions we feel, we create them. You have to be accountable for your feelings. Like, if you feel a certain way, right, you may go and blame someone else for how you're feeling. Instead of really knowing yourself, knowing the ways you have, the things that you need to address and work on with self so that you can be the best be yourself, the best be useful you that you can be. And when it comes to really knowing thyself, it's different indicators you will get from your spirit. Those are your emotions. That's your energy and motion giving you a signal to improve on something or to keep doing something or to stop doing something. So understand when you really know yourself, you will understand your intuition. You'll have a discernment about yourself. And discernment just means that you have this godly perspective because it's given to you to understand, to feel, to see something right then and there. If you're the type of person that can see through things and you can do it really quickly, you have great judgment, great discernment, right? And so when you are becoming more of yourself, it's the more that you will start to love yourself. It is the more that you will be having discernment, intuition heightened, to protect self. And the journey just continues on and on. You'll think that, oh, I've reached a certain place of self-love. I've reached a certain place of, you know, success. That's not it. Because if it was, we wouldn't still be here. Life is about existing, and that's on every aspect. It's about expansion. It's about extension, ascension. Right, because in order for us to even be here having this earthly experience, we had to transcend. That means we had to come, we had to come from a higher realm down into this dense 3D, 4D matrix. When you are becoming more and more of yourself, you are actually letting go of everything that made you dense and heavy you're actually stepping into a space of lightening your heart, renewing your spirit, renewing your soul, and you feel light as a feather, so then that's when you start to ascend back upward. Also, guys, okay, guys, so my camera had cut off for a second, <laughs> but real quick, I was just telling you guys about, you know, being yourself and knowing yourself. And of course, you may think, like, who am I to 
tell you how to be this or that way. Well, I'm just another soul having a multidimensional experience on earth. And I know that sometimes, my brothers and sisters, we can all get caught up in this flesh. We all get caught up in being so much more than we really um, understand away from ourselves. So let me rephrase that. In this earthly realm, we get so programmed sometimes. Not everybody conforms, not everybody goes along with what's expected. But a lot of the times we are getting far away from ourselves because we are seeing more and more images, um, hearing, music, watching things, and it's programming us to be a certain way. That's not who we really are, guys. So, in order to be yourself, you're going to have to reprogram yourself. Understand that the way how you appear, the way how you portray yourself, that is all of you. That is your control over self. Society has a mental illness, a sickness, I want to call it, to try and control the masses. Anyone who's living to control things outside of self, they have a lot of healing to do. They're sick to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nobody should be controlling anybody. I don't care if we're married. I don't care if you pay all my bills. I don't care. I don't care what you're talking about. When it comes to control, control yourself. Let me control me. Because once you realize you are being controlled or, you know, they're trying to disturb your consciousness, you'll come back to a space of wanting to know what it actually feels like to really be free. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not really yourself, you're not really free. You're a slave to everything that's going on around you. And the best way to break free, guys, is to start to create. It's to actually start to do things you thought about doing and you put it away. It's time to let a new you live. It's time to let dreams that you let die be born again. It's time for a rebirth in your life. So if you really want to be yourself, you have to come into a state of knowing yourself and you have to have a certain um, perspective. So when it comes to knowing things, you have to have knowledge. Knowledge applied becomes wisdom. So this is really a journey, guys. This whole like discovery of self-love, um, self-care, self-exploration, um, self-discovery, all of this is a journey, guys. And I'm so glad that you guys are here with me while I'm on this journey. Like, as you guys can see, I'm actually rocking my natural fro. It's not no, <laughs> it's not a link that I can give you for this because guess what? This is mine. And nobody can go and try to buy Takia 1B Blonde, okay? Because this goes out of my scalp. And this is natural, this is mine. And I'm so proud of that because there was a point in time where I remember not fully being myself trying to please other people. And I went and dyed my freaking hair with a box color dye, guys. Do you know my hair broke off and fell out over time? And after maybe a year later, I looked back and I was not the same girl anymore. But no, right after I did the box dye, it kind of fried my hair. And for that whole year after, I was like steadily working to get back to my beauty. Like, I don't want to cry right now, but it felt like it'd been like almost two or three years. And it took me a minute to get back here because I pos possibly was so chill about what I needed to do to um, have a healthier hair. Maybe I was just, you know, focused on another part of my self-care 
which was tea and veganism and different things of that nature. And then it became more about my skin, my hair, and my nails inside out, you know? So, you guys, look at this lymph in my hair. It actually goes down here towards my nipple. But um, just showing this because I remember when I was not fully being myself, I went and got a color dye thinking like, okay, I'm going to be hot, I'm going to show these guys or this girl, like, I'm, I'm it, right? No, honey. <laughs> no, honey. My hair fell out and I wanted to cry so bad. It broke out so bad. And it was like, it was just not there. Look, it's there now. So I just wanted to let you guys know, like, you know, be yourself. Know yourself. So, so most importantly, love yourself. Okay? Besides how you may have an experience or situation with a person and it makes you feel the way, please don't always go out trying to blame that person to say, oh, you made me to feel this way. Um, be more accountable and really realize that it is you that has to love yourself. When you make a decision, you go through with it or you don't. It's your decision. It's your regret, regret to live with or your joy to um, enjoy. So understand how the only way how you're not going to really know yourself and be yourself is when you are not loving yourself. Okay, guys? So when you love yourself, it goes right back to reprogramming yourself. When you love yourself, you're going to give yourself an unconditional love that you may have never received from your mom, from your dad, from your best friends, from anybody. You're going to give it to yourself because God is within you. God is reflected. You are manifested in human form to be of that same energy, of that same image. So, realize your power. Realize your power. And when you wake up, look in the mirror and let yourself know, I am powerful. I am a lioness. I am a lion. I am a tiger of the jungle or whatever your spirit animal is. I'm protected. I'm respected. I'm feared. I'm handsome, whatever. And go about your day. Stop caring so much to impress other people. Because you know who, who, who lives to impress people? Consider. And consumers are always buying things, while producers are always creating things to sell them. So understand, guys, that when you are busy consuming and not producing, you, you, you really don't got that many options in life. Like, you have to create options for yourself, guys. And when you do that, when you give yourself options, when you give yourself a variety of life, because you're not in your comfort zone, because you're not afraid to take risks, you can actually get to learn from trial and error, to know yourself, to love yourself. My name is Takia. I'm going to always be sending you guys some peace, love, joy, and prosperity while my channel is up. I appreciate everyone who comes, who sits and listens. If you are new and you like the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you aren't, hit the thumbs up. Uh, you know, share on your social media. And I will see you guys soon.